What if a single spacecraft could redefine how humanity lives and works in space? Imagine Starship the spacecraft designed to ferry us to Mars, transformed into a fully functional space station orbiting Earth. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi novel, but with SpaceX at the helm, this bold vision is inching closer to reality. How realistic is it? And what challenges stand in the way? The International Space Station, a marvel of engineering and international collaboration, has been orbiting our planet for over two decades. It has hosted countless scientific experiments, advanced our understanding of space, and served as a symbol of global unity. But its age is showing. NASA and its international partners plan to retire the ISS by the early 2030s, leaving a critical gap in low Earth orbit. Without a replacement, China's Tiangong space station could dominate this vital region of space, presenting a challenge to U.S. leadership in space exploration. To address this looming issue, NASA has turned to private industry. Through initiatives like the Collaborations for Commercial Space Capabilities, NASA has partnered with several U.S. companies to develop next-generation space stations. Among these are aerospace giants like Blue Origin, Northrop Grumman, and Sierra Space. But the most audacious proposal comes from SpaceX, which suggests repurposing its Starship spacecraft as a fully operational space station. Why is this idea so revolutionary? To start, Starship is unlike any spacecraft ever built. Standing 50 meters tall with a 9 meter diameter, it boasts an internal volume that already exceeds the ISS. And with the next iteration, Starship V3, stretching to 70 meters, its capacity will only grow. Originally designed to carry 100 passengers on interplanetary missions, Starship's size and modular design make it an ideal candidate for adaptation into a space station. First, there's the material. Starship's stainless steel construction is a major asset. Stainless steel is highly durable, resistant to corrosion, and capable of withstanding the harsh conditions of space, including extreme temperatures and micrometeoroid impacts. This makes it not only an excellent spacecraft material, but also a sturdy foundation for a long-term orbital habitat. Next, consider its reusability. Unlike traditional space stations, which are assembled piece by piece and remain in orbit for decades, Starship's ability to return to Earth for refurbishment could revolutionize space station maintenance. Imagine a station that can be upgraded with the latest technology or repaired on Earth, rather than relying on costly and complex in-orbit servicing. This approach aligns perfectly with SpaceX's mission to make space travel more affordable and sustainable. Then there's the vision of interconnected starships. SpaceX envisions not just one starship serving as a space station, but an entire fleet working together. Picture dozens of starships arranged in a circular configuration, creating a rotating wheel station. By spinning on its axis, this structure could generate artificial gravity through centrifugal force, addressing one of the most significant challenges of long-term space missions, microgravity. With simulated Earth-like gravity, astronauts could work and live in space for extended periods without suffering the debilitating effects of zero-gravity environments. But as revolutionary as this concept is, it's not without challenges. For one, Starship wasn't originally designed to be a space station. Its engines, propellant tanks, and other transportation-focused systems take up a significant portion of its internal volume. Repurposing these areas for habitation or research would require extensive modifications, adding complexity to an already ambitious project. Another hurdle is connectivity. Traditional space stations like the ISS are equipped with solar panels, docking ports, and external modules to support power generation, resupply missions, and scientific experiments. 
Starship's sleek aerodynamic design currently lacks these features. Adding them would require significant engineering changes, potentially impacting its performance as a rocket. And then there's the question of sustainability. For Starship to function as a long-term orbital outpost, it would need upgrades to support permanent habitation, advanced scientific research, and regular resupply operations. These upgrades would need to be integrated seamlessly without compromising the spacecraft's versatility or cost-effectiveness. Despite these challenges, SpaceX is no stranger to tackling the impossible. And they're not alone in this effort. NASA's support through programs like CCSC ensures that SpaceX and other private companies have the resources and guidance needed to turn these ambitious concepts into reality. One of SpaceX's key collaborators in this endeavor is VAST, a private aerospace company with its own bold plans for the future of space habitation. VAST is developing two space station projects, Haven 1 and Haven 2, which aim to combine luxury with scientific capability. Haven 1, set to launch aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket in 2025, will serve as a temporary station hosting four astronauts for 30-day missions. While it relies on SpaceX's Crew Dragon for life support, it represents a significant step toward commercializing low Earth orbit. Haven 2 takes this vision even further. Scheduled to launch in phases starting in 2028, it will include a cutting-edge lab for microgravity research, private living quarters, and amenities like Starlink connectivity and large observation windows. By 2030, VAST plans to launch a core module with advanced systems for extravehicular activities, docking, and propulsion. Once complete, Haven 2 will surpass the ISS in size and capability, offering a new standard for space stations. What makes VAST's partnership with SpaceX so exciting is the potential synergy between their goals. SpaceX provides the launch capabilities and infrastructure, while VAST focuses on creating innovative habitats. Together, they could pave the way for a future where space is not just for astronauts, but also for researchers, tourists, and private citizens. Of course, SpaceX and VAST aren't the only players in this game. Blue Origin, Northrop Grumman, and Sierra Space are also developing their own next-generation space stations. And China's Tiangong Station is rapidly expanding, positioning itself as a dominant force in low Earth orbit. The competition is fierce, and the stakes couldn't be higher. This race isn't just about building a replacement for the ISS. It's about shaping the future of human presence in space. The company or nation that leads this effort will define how we live and work in orbit, influence international partnerships, and set the stage for humanity's next great leap into the cosmos. So could Starship really become the centerpiece of a new space station? The idea is bold, unconventional, and fraught with challenges, but if any company can pull it off, it's SpaceX. With its proven track record of innovation and a relentless drive to push boundaries, SpaceX has already redefined what's possible in space exploration. For now, Starship remains focused on its original mission, interplanetary exploration and transport. But the prospect of transforming it into a state-of-the-art space station is an exciting glimpse into the future. Whether through Starship, Haven 2, or another contender, the next era of space stations promises to be more innovative, accessible, and transformative than ever before. So, what do you think? Can SpaceX and its Starship revolutionize space habitation? Or will other players like VAST or China take the lead? One thing's for sure, the future of space exploration has never been more thrilling. Stay tuned as we continue to follow these groundbreaking developments and explore the incredible possibilities of life beyond Earth. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.